Yo, what's happening? Today we're going to pretty much talk about how to make your Xbox control be registered on your PC. You see, I use third-party controls, third-party Xbox 360 controls, and this is the sound I get when I plug them in. Here we go. You hear that noise? That means it's not going to pick it up. It can't identify the control. So this is what we're going to do. We go to control panel. We go to hardwares and sound we go to device manager and once we're in the device manager we see these controls these are the controls I'm using so we're gonna go right here to this one and we're gonna update the driver browse my computer for driver software let me pick a list of driver on my computer and we're gonna go all the way to the bottom until we reach um, Microsoft Common Control. Once we click there, now if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10, you might have a different certificate. I don't really know since I don't use those programs, but I just suggest that you probably just click on whatever most updated certificate that you see. As you can see, I don't use the 2006. I only used the 2009. I don't have a wireless control. But if I did, I'm pretty sure I would use the ones in the bottom. So I'm mostly doing wired controls due to the fact that most third-party controls are wired. And that's the main reason. So there's that as well. Now we're going to do it again because I do have two devices. Now we're going to go to Afterglow Gamepad. Do the same thing. Update driver. Um, browse. Same the same thing. Let me pick a device. And you go to Common Controls. Or, uh, Microsoft Common Controls. Pick this one, next, and bam, wow, all of them are working now. Now, as you can see, we go back to the same device manager, and now all the controls are identified as Xbox 360 controls in the computer. It's not in other devices, and it's not with that exclamation mark that's saying unknown. So now we can actually use the Xbox controls from third parties without having to worry about that weird sound saying it didn't pick it up or install oh. driver. Now everything is much more better. It plays better and it has no issue anymore after that. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Until then, I'll see you guys around and thank you very much for watching.